So here we are again. Um, Dr. Toscano is actually injecting some Belotero under Demelza's left eye. And as you can see, once again, it's not a particularly painful area. Let's go right here. And Dr. Toscano, can you tell our audience what gauge needle you're using? And This is really tiny. This is mm -hmm. a 30 gauge needle. It's about the width of a human hair. Mm -hmm. It's the same needle that's used in Botox injections. Wonderful. The Bellotero is very thin, very soft, mm -hmm. and will go through a very thin needle. A thicker filler would have a lot of trouble going through okay. a needle this fine. And Dr. Toscano, um, how come you don't use Juvederm under this area? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one is Juvederm is thicker. Mm -hmm. It uh, can sometimes lump up a little bit in this area. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, Juvederm has a little bit of a blue cast to it. And in this very thin skin underneath the eyes, if you have something that has a little bit of a blue color to it, then it might show and make the eyes look dark. So Bellaterra has no color to it. Mm -hmm and I think is the absolute best filler to use in this area. Awesome, thank you for sharing that information with us, doctor. And I see that there's no bleeding, there's no bruising. Sometimes there might be a little bruising, but mm -hmm. usually we're very careful to prevent it. Mm -hmm. That's what we use the ice for. The ice is not for pain management because mm -hmm. this really isn't a painful procedure. Mm -hmm. It's really to shrink the capillaries and to reduce bruising or bleeding. And doctor, uh, you do quite a bit of correction uh, as well with some patients that have had Juvederm put underneath the eyes that come in to see you. It's true. I've mm -hmm. had to dissolve the Juvederm with an mm -hmm. enzyme to get mm -hmm. the blue look away or to get rid of lumps or mm -hmm. um, filler that's put too superficially. Misty, let's go up real high right here. There's a little line right there I'd like to correct. And we've also had some patients come in that uh, their practitioner, they don't really inject underneath the eyes. And you've had quite a few of those patients as well, haven't you, Dr. Toscano, that it, come in to see you? It's true, not everyone knows how to do this or how mm -hmm. to do it well. Mm -hmm. And we have had quite a few patients that have come in that have said that uh, they can't get their doctor to do it or mm -hmm. that it's not available in some places. And, We've actually been doing this for about four years and have had superior results with Bellatero under the eyes right there. Excellent. And this will last a long time. Under the eyes, this can easily last over a year. Some people get as long as two years out of it. Wonderful.
And Dr. Giscano, for our viewers out there as well, does this help with under eye bags? Well, this it procedure? It depends. If the bags are relatively small, mm -hmm. then it can certainly make the shadow underneath the bag less. Could I have a Q tip for a moment, please? Oh, that's a great answer. But if the bags are large, mm -hmm. then they have a particular name. They're called festoons, and it mm -hmm. really requires a surgical procedure to remove them. Okay. Usually that's done with a laser. Mm -hmm. But as far as Smaller bags, we can hide them nicely by mm -hmm. filling in the hollow underneath the bag. And doctor, I see that you're using a Q-tip on that area, and can you explain to us why you're doing that? I'm just smoothing out the filler. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting it so that it's smooth and we don't see any lines. Mm -hmm. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think about right here, Misty? If we could use a little bit more right there, are we good? Mm -hmm. I think that would look really good right there. And that's pretty much it. That looks wonderful. Now there'll be a little bit of swelling as a result mm -hmm. of me doing this. You can see she has a little bit of swelling already. That's just mm -hmm. from sticking needles in. That will go sure. down and it will smooth out within the mm -hmm. next day or so. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Also, can we have a wow look at that wow looks like you went on a long weekend and got about 24 hours of sleep say, like right <laughs> wow that's amazing and so can you uh, share with our audience a little bit about your experience sure i um really wanted to get bellotero because i just felt like i wanted to go out without makeup on and not look like i really did need a nap i was looking very tired um it's typically with people approaching 40 we tend to get the bags underneath our eyes um, so <clears throat> came in, got the Bellatero this morning, and zero pain. You feel a tiny little pinch, uh, a flick, if that. Um, the procedure was very, very uh, fast. It took about maybe 15 minutes, and that's with us doing videotaping as well. Mm -hmm. um, zero discomfort, uh, very minimal, and I can go about and do my daily activities. You can go back to work. Like the doctor said, very minimal bruising. You can um, hide that. We have a great product here called IntelliShade. That's uh, anti-aging tinted moisturizer that we can put on right over the procedure. So I'm very excited. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thank you.